If you've just got the Elgato prompter and you're having issues with it when using it with your Mac, then hopefully this video is going to help you out. Now, recently I've seen a number of questions regarding issues with the prompter not displaying anything at all to the text not showing up as part of the prompter workflow. So I thought I'd just post these steps that has helped a number of people out over the last few weeks. And hopefully you guys will find this useful too. The first thing I'd suggest is to make sure that you've got the latest version of both the Camera Hub software and the Display Link application, because the Elgato prompter needs both of these applications to work correctly. The links are below and in the description for the Elgato downloads and the Display Link site. So the second thing that catches a lot of people out is that you need to ensure that you've enabled the security permissions for both the Elgato Camera Hub and the Display Link Manager. Now these are in your system preferences on your Mac under privacy and security and under screen and system audio recording. Now if they don't appear here, the installation may not have worked correctly. So you can actually add them yourself by clicking on the plus button and then you navigate to your applications folder and then click on the application and add them to this. It's always worth after you've added these applications to that specific setting to restart your Mac and take a look to see if your Elgato prompter works from there. One other quick thing to check is that even if the applications are both in the privacy and security settings on your Mac, you may need to toggle the button on and off for those applications within that setting just to make sure that they're actually activated and working. Um, if you toggle them on and off and then try the prompter again, this pretty much fixes other issues that I've seen with regards to having these applications installed, but still the prompter not functioning 100%. Make sure that you use the right cable that came with the Elgato prompter as well. It is a high speed USB cable that's obviously carrying the video signal and technically everything should show up correctly in your Mac. But obviously follow these steps. If it doesn't, I hope that some of the points that I've raised will help you out if you've got any problems. And uh, let me know in the comments if the solutions I provided for you has helped in some way. If you're interested in live streaming, using Ecamm Live, Mac productivity and stuff like that, then check out some of the videos here in the playlist and I'll see you in the next video.